Hello guys, today I'm going to be doing a review on the Manuscript Dodec fountain pen. I got the blue version as you can see here. The pen has this sort of grooved section here that sort of smooths down to this section where it has this sort of smoothed off bald point at the very back of the pen as you can see. It has a screw cap which is very nice for a, a pen that's so cheap. And Let's check out the nib. The pen has a butterfly style nib, which is quite unusual at this price range. I usually don't really deal with very many butterfly, butterfly style nibs. And uh, let's talk about the filling system, etc. The pen was normally meant to be a cartridge fountain pen, but due to the plastic craftsmanship and design, I can actually use it as a bottle, bottle fountain pen, or otherwise known as a eyedropper fountain pen. Let's uh, put it back together, get, get a writing sample, and let's check it out. I'll also talk about what it looks like inside the pen and how much ink space it can use. I've taken the pen apart. As you can see, the barrel of the pen is pure plastic, and I can fill it up with ink all the way to the top right here where it screws to the nib section in the feed. And let's put the pen back together. Now, without further ado, it's time for a writing sample. Pen. Manuscript. Dodec. Manuscript Dodec. Talk about ink. I filled this with Pelican Blue ink. It's a nice starting ink. If you're just getting into fountain pens, I would definitely recommend that. Pelican Royal Blue. Blue ink. The style of nib is a butterfly nib. Comparing this pen to the Genhao 599, you can see that the the nib, the top, the tip of the nib, actually is folded over, and so it has this sort of butterfly wing shape, where the tines meet the paper. And let's do a comparison, and I'll show you what the the standard type of nib shape looks like with the Genhao 599, and it has a ball instead of a folded feed like this. Let's check it out. As you can see here on the Genhao 599, unlike the manuscript Dodec, it doesn't have that folded nib shape under there. And uh, let's switch back to the Manuscript Dodec and finish this review. Let's check the feedback. There is no feedback. None. Let's uh, talk about the reliability. Reliability. Since this is a plastic pen, I would take this, I take this pen to school and it's quite quite good for that but if you're trying to use something fancy this isn't the way to go give the reliability factor about a, a six out of ten this pen comes in many different colors i picked up blue of course it's pure plastic though it is a hard plastic now the durability factor of this pen let's check this out it has this hard plastic here the barrel section is hard plastic but the only thing metal on this pen is the nib. That can actually be a problem some places with intense heat. But if you're taking it to school, work, or somewhere where you need a pen that you won't feel bad about breaking, this is the way to go. It's durable enough to take to school, yet cheap enough that you won't worry about it. Due to that, I think I'll rate the durability at a 9 out of 10. The cost was actually quite expensive, so I will I think it was five or six bucks for a pen like this. Depends where you get it though. Some places are cheaper. My overall thoughts are it's a a good pen. It is a workhorse, so I, I've relied on it quite a bit over the years. I actually lost it at one point, but let's not get into that. 
if you're a student or someone else, this is a definitely good a definitely good pen to use. And so I definitely recommend this pen, guys. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know.